Before we actually go to the lab to configure RIP, we have to make sure we have a couple of commands that will allow us to view and test the RIP configuration. These commands are going to be consistent across all of the routing protocols and will typically give you just general information about what's going on on your router when it comes to routing itself. The first one, which we've used, is the show IP route. This displays the contents of the route table, which is very important to make sure that you've collected all of the appropriate data, and then you're going to be successful in your endeavors to move data packets around your network. We can also use the show protocols command, which will display all of the routed protocols such as IP and IPX, what has been turned on on the router and is ready to be routed by the router. It also displays any of the addresses which were assigned to each interface, IP addresses, IPX addresses, or otherwise. Last but not least, for general testing, we have the show IP protocols command. This is going to display very detailed information about the routing protocol itself. It will show you your RIP, your IGRP, your OSPF, any other protocol that you have installed. And so it will give you information about who that protocol is communicating with all of the neighbors, the update frequency, the routes that have been included, the networks they're routing for, all kinds of fantastic information about the routing protocol itself. So, let's go to the lab. Let's introduce here what we're going to be doing though. In our lab, we have the same routers set up with our four main routers, two 38s and a pair of 28s. Now what I've done to kind of set this lab up is I've already configured RIP on the 2800A, the 3800B, and the 2800B. All of these routers right now would be exchanging data, but we're missing the center of the star in this case. The 3800A router does not yet have RIP installed. But once RIP is installed in the lab and fully configured, I should get networks 3 through 5, networks 8 through 10, and networks 12 through 14 added to my route table. I should see full convergence take place in the 3800 as soon as I add the RIP process. So let's go ahead and go to the lab and do so, and then test and view our configuration.